By the way, here's a story that I'm not, I, I really don't like doing this story, but it's about Bernie pushing Russiagate, right? So he's been pushing it the whole time. So here's him back in 2017. He says, we need an investigation into whether our foreign policy is being conducted in the best interests of America or to protect Russia. That's in 2017. Also from 2017, he says, I strongly support imposing sanctions on Russia. It's unacceptable for Russia to interfere in foreign elections. That's the job of Debbie Wasserman Schultz. <laughs> This people Do people fucking forget? Anyway, so here, here, and then he goes, this is last week, this is just last week, he goes, Mitch McConnell, you need to explain to the people of Kentucky why you believe that we should be, we should do nothing to stop Russia from interfering with our elections. Stop obstructing legislation. Like, God damn it, Bernie. So even George Galloway goes, this is embarrassing, Bernie. <laughs> And I tweeted out, hey, Bernie, it wasn't Russia that cheated you and then went on to lose to Trump. Did Russia give Trump $2 billion in free airtime? FYI, Naritan and the DNC and MSNBC still hate you, no matter how much Russiagate you spew. <laughs> Did Russia fire Ed Schultz for covering you? Did Russia limit debates so less people heard your message and sneak debate questions to your opponent? Did Russia illegally kick 200,000 citizens off the voting rolls in New York? Did Russia make Debbie Wasserman Schultz resign from the DNC for cheating? <laughs> no. <laughs> and let me, let me remind you that people know that it was the DNC that cheated us and fucked us and that's why we have Trump. People know that because during the 2016 Democratic Convention, at the convention and I was there, Debbie Wasserman Schultz went to give a speech in front of her own delegates from Florida and this is how they treated her. Let's be respectful to the person who cheated you single-handedly and is fucking over the country and paving the way for Trump. Let's be respectful. Here we go, because we're going to blame Susan Sarandon and Russia later. Here we go. So Debbie can speak. It's okay. Everybody, let's... It's okay. No, no it's, not, it's actually not okay. It's actually not okay. Here from our speakers. We have our speakers as well. fucking Putin. <laughs> they go right back to Putin. <laughs> That's right. She should be in prison, ladies and gentlemen, for election fraud. <laughs> Debbie Wasserman Schultz should be in prison. And she's cheated Tim Kavanaugh, and uh, she cheated. That's a total fraud election, Tim Kavanaugh, and Bernie didn't stand up and say anything about Tim Kavanaugh. K Another Canova. guy running Canova. as an Canova. independent. Canova. Canova. What did Canova. I say? Kavanaugh. I say Kavanaugh? Canova. Very different. <laughs> Arno, uh, fix that in post, would you? <laughs> Kavanaugh. Canova. Kavanaugh. Canova. Cut that out. It's Canova. <laughs> Get it right next time, Arno. It's, it's my boss. My, my boss. boss. <laughs> my boss. I'm, I'm not going to pretend that Ron sticking the knife in me like that doesn't hurt. <laughs> I've loved Ron. <laughs> I've promoted his career <laughs> and his tour with Graham Elwood. <laughs> and this is the thanks I get. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Thank you, man, for pointing out that I'm as big of a hypocrite as Joe Biden is. <laughs> and thereby ruining all the rest of the jokes. <laughs> I hope this crowd doesn't kill you <laughs> and follow you back to your hotel.
I really hope you don't follow him back to his hotel <laughs> and kill him. <laughs> uh, Aaron Matei says, I just hope Bernie sees that Russiagate emerged partly as a neoliberal defense against his appeal. Clinton Obama wing needed an excuse for its loss and a defense against r rising progressives. That's why MSNBC et al. have used it to say, so the whole point is, if you push Russiagate, Bernie, you know they're going to immediately use it against you. You should be debunking it because they always use that against the left. And here's the proof. MSNBC revealed Russian supporting for Bernie began during New Hampshire primary. There it is. Here's another one. Politico. Sanders silent on claim the Russians backed him in 2016. Here it is. MSNBC, Bernie aid. We didn't know Russians were helping. They're fucking, this is, here's another one. MSNBC, Democratic senator calls off Bernie Sanders to disavow Russian support. This is what, so that's why I don't understand why Bernie's doing this, right? It just goes to show you that, I don't know, was he's, why, why do you think he's doing it? To show you that he's flawed? I don't know. Here's what Michael Tracy says. Memo to bring Team Bernie, pandering to Duran's liberal fantasies on Russia is incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> incredibly embarrassing. Now MSNBC, I love this. Now MSNBC and CNN will cover you fairly. Other candidates won't have their supporters walk out and try to disrupt your speech. Naritana will call up for Troll Army. You've done it, Bernie. Unless, of course, they hate you for your policies. <laughs> So it's a heartbreaker for me to see Bernie do that. And, uh, it's so, and it's nice that he never went on Joe Rogan and said nice shit about me, so now I can tell the truth about him when he does stupid fucking shit like that. <laughs> and that is stupid fucking shit. Here's what Cynthia says. She says, agree 100%. I've, I'll always back Bernie, but all these things and more are true. Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning are still in jail. WikiLeaks at a standstill and not a Russian in sight. Stop, Bernie. Please stop. And I think Bernie would speak out more for Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and Tulsi, even when Tulsi fucking took it on the chin for him. When no one else would stand up for Bernie Sanders, Tulsi stepped down as vice chair of the DNC and stood up for Bernie Sanders. And now Bernie doesn't say anything about her. And the only thing I can think of is that maybe somebody got to Bernie. I'm like, why would you think somebody got to Bernie? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? <laughs> Foreign wars are necessary. We have to stay engaged. What, what do you think about the Bernie being silent on Tulsi? Anything, my panel or our panel? Well, I don't know about the Russia stuff, but I think with the Mitch McConnell stuff, I talked to you about this before. Well, tell me I, about the Mitch McConnell stuff. I think he is, and this is not a joke, I think he is calling out Mitch McConnell to say, don't let the Russians interfere with our elections because Bernie knows the Russians didn't interfere with our elections, but Mitch McConnell did. So he's saying, we gotta call out Mitch McConnell to keep him from throwing future elections, how or did the Republicans Mitch in general. How did Mitch McConnell interfere with our elections? Well, I'm not talking about Mitch McConnell personally, I'm talking about the Republicans in general, 2004 in Ohio. Gerrymandering, John things like that, and suppressing the vote, and, and all that stuff with the cross-check, right? Uh, cross yeah, that's all the stuff that's out in the open. Yeah. But he's talking about just election interference in general. Mitch McConnell is not interested because he knows it favors him, not because the Russians are helping him, but because they've got the fix in themselves. Okay. And, but the Democrats don't want to do anything about it either, I wonder why. What is it? Why, did, why don't? Yeah, they, that's the it? thing. I, I like. I would. I would agree with your point more if if he also called out the Democrats, the DNC, which are doing the same fucking thing. And we all know what's going to happen. It's going to go to a second vote. It's going to be Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, and the super devils going to pick fucking Elizabeth Warren, and they're going to go fuck pound sand, and she's in bed, and it's over. I mean, that's what's going to. Am I wrong about this? No. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. All right, so we see this shit happening. Why do you think other progressive news outlets don't see this happening the way everyone here sees it's happening and the way we see it happening at the Jimmy Dore Show? Please write it down and send it to us. <laughs>
Hey, our next live Jimmy Dore show is in Seattle, September 16th. That's a Monday. Plus, every Sunday in October, we're doing a live Jimmy Dore show at the Sycamore Tavern in Hollywood, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets and become a premium member. We give you hours of bonus material. Thanks for your support. <laughs> 